and yeah, people put your guns on my side. Welcome back everybody to Does What Alexa and Toby Unboxing Hedge Technical Statue Gantz O, the Anzu X shotgun version. And this time she is based on the CGI version of Anzu instead of what you would probably see in the manga. Alright, and as for the box, you can see that this one is pretty big. Most of it is in this basic matte black. And then here in the front, you see that there's a large window. And then the most minimal of shots of Anzu. Alright, so here's the front of the box, the side of the box, the other side of the box, the top of the box, the bottom, and the back with just a couple of shots of Anzu. Alright, you know what time it is. Alright, so here's Anzu in her clear inner packaging, and as you can see, she doesn't come with a whole lot, just one accessory, and then also a base. And this is pretty much what you can see from the front of the box. Alright, so starting off with the base, this is a pretty boring one, it's just matte black. And then as you can see here, there are pegs for Anzu's feet, and these ones are made of metal, so that when you plug her in, it's less likely to snap. Moving on to accessories, it's just this one X shotgun that we see in the TV series, and also the movie. And that fits into the hand just like that. Moving on to painting and sculpting, this figure is absolutely perfect. I see no paint mistakes at all, and this is starting to be something that I come to expect from Hedge Technical Statue, as all of their figures that I've gotten from them so far have been in pristine condition. And then I also like that Anzu is in this nice natural pose where she's looking over her shoulder, and then she's not trying too hard to show off her, uh figure. And then much like Reika, she is wearing that typical Gantz style skin tight outfit that is in a matte black in some spots and then glossy in others. Zooming in on our face we see that it is excellently sculpted with a beautiful glossy set of lips and then also a soft smile. We also get to see her perfectly executed bob haircut, which in my opinion is usually easy to mess up when it comes to figures, because just for whatever reason, it's really easy to botch the hair sculpt of figures, but this time, it's not here. Next we have a close up of the chest and the most notable thing that I can point out is that for someone wearing a super suit that can withstand most damage, I don't really know why we can see your nips through the suit like we do here. I don't know, I guess they're just cut like diamonds. Moving along to the back we see that some beautiful sculpting has gone into making this look very natural. I definitely like how the fold looks on the back. Moving on to the waist, we see that she is very busty. Seriously, I think that she might be outdoing Reika. She also has those plumpy thighs that shape around her gun holster. And then lastly, we see that she is wearing her typical black pair of boots with those silver and blue aesthetics. Now for size comparison, there she is next to Figma Major, Ryoko Matoi, the bunny version. And lastly, there she is next to Reika, the shotgun version from Hedge Technical Statue. I think that the poses definitely complement each other, and those are for sure going to look good together on the shelf. As for the final verdict, this Anzu figure is perfect for anybody who is a Gantz Obsessed fan, who is either into the manga or the CGI movie. If you're not too familiar with either, I think that you would still enjoy having this on your shelf next to Reika because the painting and sculpting of this figure is absolutely flawless, and plus she looks just so cool. I am a bit bored with how little accessories she comes with, as it's just the base and the shotgun. So if you're thinking of picking this up, this will definitely only be for display purposes, and then a few fixed photographs. So let me know what you think down below. Alright everybody, that's it for me. Please leave a like and subscribe, comment your thoughts, and I'll see you guys next time!